Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how to properly calibrate the battery of your iPhone. This is going to be an updated tutorial for you guys running the latest iOS 17. You guys seem to ask this question quite a bit here on the channel. Now, I always recommend to do this at least once a month. And if you get a brand new battery, a replacement battery for your iPhone, you should definitely do this right after you replace the battery. So let me show you how to properly calibrate the battery on your iPhone running the latest iOS 17. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So the first thing I would recommend you do is download the Apple support application. Now this application isn't available in every place around the world. So if you don't have this app available for you, don't worry, you can actually skip this step. But for those of you that do have the Apple support available in your region, you want to go ahead and launch the app and then select your iPhone that you're using that you want to calibrate the battery for. Then you want to click on more options and then you want to scroll to battery and select the battery life options. Here you can run a check on the actual battery before we begin. Again. So we'll run a check, see the battery health on this iPhone, and right here in just a few seconds, we'll see the actual battery health. This iPhone has 98, so it's at peak performance, normal performance. Now again, if you don't have this app available in your region, don't worry, you can actually skip this step. Now the next thing you want to do is head on over into settings. You want to go into the battery section here, and then you want to tap into battery health and charging options right here. So what you want to do here is you want to turn off the optimized battery charging and the clean energy charging you want to turn these two off at least while you do this and then today after watching this video when you get home what you want to do is you want to plug in your iphone to charge to a hundred percent once it hits a hundred percent continue charging the iphone for at least an additional two hours after you hit that 100 percent the following day just simply use your iphone throughout the day entirely until you kill the battery completely so you need your iphone to drain the battery 100 percent until it's dead so basically you get home just use your iPhone and before you go to bed make sure you use the entire battery once it drains completely to 100 and it shuts down on its own because you drain the entire battery plug in your iPhone before you go to bed and let it charge all the way to 100 once again okay let me explain that one more time so make sure you plug in your iPhone today until it hits 100% after it hits 100% just continue charging your iPhone overnight use it the next day completely until you drain it to zero and then plug it in uninterrupted for an entire charge from zero to 100 overnight and that will recalibrate or calibrate the battery of your iPhone. Again, I recommend everyone to do this at least once a month where you use your iPhone until the battery is completely killed off or dead and then charge it to 100 with no interruption. This is the best way to calibrate the battery and you can actually go back into your battery health section and see if the actual maximum capacity has changed or anything at all. But let me know if this works for you. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to share this quick tip with you guys that is how to calibrate break the battery. Have a great day, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.